and you're welcome guys once again to yet again another video and in this video what we're going to be doing is testing what we have done so far particularly the um, Cordova camera plugin as well as having access to the user's photo library um, which we just did here basically so the first thing I'm going to do first of all is to build this app so on the Cordova build android all right okay guys and you can see right here that our app has built successfully and um i also have our app installed on my android device so right now what i'm going to do now is to okay i'm also mirroring my, my android device here so what i'm going to do now is to get our app um Yep, here's our app. All right. So here we are. We can uh, log in and registration. And okay. So now let's test our camera plugin to see if it works just fine. So I just get anything in here and anything in here. Anything as my password. And now when I click on upload an image and let's check out the image gallery. And you can see it works out just perfect. Um, I could decide to pick an image here. And yep, you can see that. I've, and now let me um, make use of the camera. And you can see my my um, my keyboard. So it works just fine, and I can just move back. Okay, so our camera plugin works just as expected, and um, it actually also returns base sixty four string to the console. So let me get straight to Chrome debugging so that I can also show you that too. Alright, so here we are in Chrome debugging. So I'm also going to do the same thing too. So now, if I go to image and I just pick an image right here, and you can see it returns the B64 string of that image. And if I use my camera and just straight up on my keyboard and I took a picture, took a picture of that, alright, and you can also see that it also returns the base 64 string also right here too. Alright, so that's that for this video. In the next video, we're going to be looking at registering the user, capturing his face, and storing the user's image with his face. Or basically, we're going to be detecting the user's face, then storing the image of the user's face in our server, so that when the user wants to log in, we can basically check the um, current image with the image we already have on the server. If the current image looks like the image we already have on the server, we authenticate the user. We log the user in, but if it doesn't, we tell the user this does not look like you and stuff like that. This is not you and stuff like that. Okay, so thank you very much. I'll greatly appreciate if you like this video and subscribe to my channel as well as click the notification button for more updates.